Hey everybody, Hakum here with my live reaction to read through for Marriage Toxin chapters 56 onward. Gonna be trying to mass record all of this week's manga read throughs because I'm a little behind, sorry about that. Excited to get into this week's stuff. The wind users look really cool, but we haven't seen much of them yet. The new girl is, I think she's grown on me. I like her. It's hard for her to live up to some of the past characters, but it'll be cool to see where she and her story goes on from here. But yeah, we're at chapter 56 onward. Don't know exactly how long I'm going to read, but let's just go for what feels natural. We got a new volume cover up here in the corner. We fit volume 7. And uh, yeah, as usual, I'll just throw the cover up there so you have something to look at other than just me. I mean, I'm sure that when I read manga or when I watch manga read throughs or when I watch manga reactions, I just pull up the chapter myself and like throw it in the corner of the screen and read along with the person. Uh, but yeah, as usual for manga, there's just no way that I can show it without potentially getting in extremely big trouble. So let's just start reading Marriage Toxin for this week around. We start off with these guys all tied up. The side says, A certain organization is after Edina, and the specialist they've joined forces with. And the spe Edina and the specialist they've joined forces with. With unexpectedly... Sorry, sorry. <laughs> A certain organization is after Edina, and the specialists they've joined forces with unexpectedly turn out to be. Okay, that, again, depending on the inflection, depending on how you read it, there were so many different ways that sentence could have gone. Wind users? But that specialist clan now only exists in Legends. I read in the library back home that they all died out a long time ago. Maybe the remnants of that clan, or some new specialists on the rise. I'm not very clear on their identities myself, but on that matter. The same goes for you. Who in the world are you? Those guys were pretty good, but you took care of them in a flash. I'm Hikaru Gero, a poison user. What? You're a specialist? And then, sorry, I just wanted to look at something really quickly. Yeah, I thought... Okay, I thought they ended the last chapter in the middle of the fight, so now they're all defeated at the beginning of chapter 56. I just wanted to go back to the last chapter and double check. Because I was like, did I accidentally skip something somehow? But I'm pretty sure I hired a cheap driver. Wait, did I read the price wrong? I guess I was a bit frantic when I made the request. No, I did read that right. That means, why can't I stop sweating? And then, 10,000 yen a day? I think you missed four zeros there. No, that's correct. But why? We're nobodies. Why would you... And he gulps. You, er, we're here to help, so don't worry about it and let us, okay? I forced a car dealer friend awake and got us this ride, says <laughs> Kinosaki, <laughs> pulling up. I was trying to pull off a good move there. So, <laughs> so he's really from one of the top five families? Well, I guess that means I got really lucky. Now... Even if something were to happen to me, there'll be somebody, or there'll be someone, to take care of Arena. Okay. In short, once we get to the safe zone, those guys won't be able to lay a hand on us anymore. Zelsan, would you like an onigiri? No, I'm good. Gerokun, feed me. Eyes on the road. Edina, what, or about what happened earlier. Sorry for making you worry. And then... But now, we have Ghetto helping us, so everything's going to be just fine. Thank you, Ghetto. And Edina's thinking about her getting hurt. You thank him too, Edina. Come on. Thank you. Smile. You gotta say it with a smile. Ghetto-san, thank you. And she just pushes her face up. Maybe it's time for sleep, huh? We've had a very long day, after all. The pomp sound effect translation. Yeah. And they're all asleep except Ghetto. It's a straight road. I'll be fine. He's just super stiff. And he looks back at the two of them sleeping. Smiles. Ghetto-san? She <laughs> jumps. W Zhao? What's wrong? Is she going to give me a night-long sermon? Were you stealing glances at Chinatsu's sleeping face? You fiend! How do I become stronger? I've been relying too much on Chinatsu. If nothing changes, Chinatsu might die protecting me. If I were strong like you, then I could make it on my own. Run a hundred kilometers a day, every day in the mountains. 
do martial arts until you're vomiting blood, and develop and improve your technique, even at the risk of your own life. She's shocked. And even after surviving a selection where everyone has to crush one another, you'll find that there are still those who stand above you. And he's thinking about Peachy and the new head of the Dogo family. So don't worry too much. You're fine just as you are, Zhao. What are you saying? Things are not fine at all. As it turns out, it's not so easy to grab onto the hand that's trying to help you. I myself took a long and winding road before I realized this. Being able to ask for and accept someone's help is a strength in and of itself. As long as you keep holding on to our hands, Akakura and I will be invincible. Since you can recognize your own weakness, then you can definitely become stronger. You don't have to do it the way I did. You'll do just fine. There's no need to rush. What a good scene. I love this series. And then her stomach growls. Want some candy? Kinosaki finished all the onigiri. <laughs> and then, of course, we have the mix em ups. Good, huh? It's alright. Now, that's the part where you say it's good. Mediocre. Ugh. And she laughs to herself. Um, Gero-san, can I ask you a favor? Hmm? How about getting together with Chinatsu? She is gonna cause a car crash! <laughs> Edina, don't! She's rather reckless, but there'll be no need for worry with you by her side. I'll talk to her and recommend you as a boyfriend candidate. Chinatsu also tends to play things cool, but she's actually very fond of sweets. She must have been dying to try her dying to try the candy you offered me earlier. She thinks it's too embarrassing to buy sweets from shops, so she just buys the ingredients instead. No one'll notice if I just get the ingredients. Then she er she'd then make the sweets herself and feast on them at home. You like cooking as well, don't you? Seems to me like the two of you are pretty compatible. Yeah, but, uh, Zhao, what's important is what she wants. And then she falls asleep. God, that was a complete 180 from earlier. What gives? She kept warning me not to fall in love, and now this? I just don't get how women think. I need more training. Ah, well, this is an interesting development. We have Kinosaki listening in. I slept really well, Chinatsu wakes up. Thanks for taking over the wheel, Ghetto. Uh, sure. Hmm? You okay? Want my energy drink? I already drank from it, though. Oh, and now we cut over to Wind User riding on top of the car, as before. What a tearjerker. Such a moving photo. You've turned this into a wonderful episode, Kazuma-kun. These types of developments are my favorites. And now, it's time for the finishing touches. Crush them, and he <laughs> bites the photo. You're pretty sick in the head, huh, old man Namagawa? A nefarious man named Namagawa. What is he planning? Okay. Time to go to 57. That was a cute chapter. That was really fun. I like these characters. Again, I always love Marriage Talks and it's always great. But it's it's just really nice seeing Ghetto and how much he's changed. Who he is as a person, he's just a really, really enjoyable main character to me. I love all the side characters around him. I love Kunosaki as the, the partner in this sort of uh, buddy story. Um, I love Kunosaki, obviously. But yeah, I, I just think the characters in the story are so well done. But either way, let's just read chapter 57. And we start this one with more of the wind users. The attack on Erina is thwarted by Ghetto and company, but what's the true intention of these specialists? The tractors, the road rollers, and even the cranes. Somehow, or you somehow managed to destroy all the heavy machinery under my authority. My biggest apologies. I must slice open my gut here and now to show I'm sorry. <laughs> we have the uh, one female wind user yelling. Take it easy, Mitsuba. God. Or Kazumama. Then, here, have yourself a nice hot cup of tea. The mission has never failed until you give it up yourself. Delish, righto. I'm a back out on er, I'm a back out on the gut slicing then. All right, love you lots, Kazumama. Here, have the sandwich too. Ah, that be hitting all the spots in my innards. What an absolute farce. Well then, Kojiro-kun, I'll be getting off here. 
And he just bursts through the gates, it looks like. You, didn't you hear me? Stop the car! And he's going straight at the building. Brakes are pointless. What a, what a rough handle. I have no need for such useless parts in my car, Namagawa-san. Kazuma, aren't we facing a dilemma here? With the poison user on the opposing side. Eep! And then he leaps up into the air. Kazuma does, at least. He grabs onto the car itself and stops it from hitting the building. Ha! Ha! Now I'm sleepy after all that food. Kojiro, you seem to be misreading the wind. We got a, or we got a big tailwind blowing for us right now. You heard the story yourself, didn't you? Ever since that conflict between the poison user and the beast user, info on how to counter the ghetto family techniques has been making the rounds. The balance that's been kept between the top five families for hundreds of years is now beginning to crumble. It's time for us Kanawa siblings to ride this wind and rise up from the bottom. I, I actually really like these three. They're so cool looking. Top five families or whatever. There's nothing to fear once you know the trick behind the magic. So, what do you say? You two ready to blow him out of the water and it looks like he has some sort of like SD card? And then we have, I forget, what was he, Namagawa? We have him throwing up outside of the car. The agreed upon time is 6 p.m. sharp. Our ride will come pick us up at that time and take us to a place out of Namagawa's reach. Riding a plane around the wind user seems like a really bad idea. That's basically the whole arrangement for our escape. Now, I know the airport's just a stone's throw away from here, but before going there, we need to take care of that. You're right. That is definitely a must. Indeed. And the ghetto is dramatic. That being shopping, and all three of them are excited. <laughs> is this really a must? Definitely a must, says all three. Since we're changing cars to lose any tails, we might as well change our appearance, too. We'll need to clothe our, er, we'll need new clothes to disguise ourselves. You're gonna need some normal everyday clothes and some nice ones to help liven up your new start. And then we have them picking out clothes. So cute, adorable. This little shopping trip. This is all so cute. And sh and like seeing Chinatsu or Akakura, either way, and Ghetto as like this little family as well. More than a couple. I'd say they look like a family. It's a nice heartwarming sight to see. So again, like, personality-wise, it really does feel like Akakura might be, like, the most fitting so far. Plus, she's also a really, like, powerful fighter and all of that, on top of everything. Ghetto, Kinosaki, I don't know what we would have done without you. <laughs> Man, I love their cute new outfits. Your destination, South America, right? Then, keep your spirits up to the beat of the Zamba. What does that even mean? Anyway, we gotta go. Wait, Chinatsu? Hmm? You should exchange contact info with Ghetto-san. Uh-huh, why? I love her outfit here. Akakura's outfit? I like it a lot. <laughs> you don't get to meet a lot of guys. If you don't grab these kinds of chances to gain experience, you might never get married. But you were going on about not falling in love. It's not every day you get to meet a guy who's strong and stupidly nice. You can't just let him go. <laughs> I love the low detail ghetto in the background. And Kinosaki pushes him forward. Th then I guess, okay. And Kinosaki and Eddie in a fist bump. And his friends grow to five. He waves as they leave. That job was lots of fun, wasn't it? And then, yeah. The car flies up in the air towards the plane. We have Akakura react. As the car hits the... Marriage toxin so fucking cool. <laughs> the car hits the plane. <laughs> Man. <laughs> and we have... So Kazuma is blowing Akakura away. And the girl whose name I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting the other two, the other two's names right now. The girl is grabbing onto Edina, and of course, the guy is still just seriously driving the car. Chinatsu, you bet give Edina, let me go. Hey, don't be getting too wild. They take her into the car, and he slams on the gas while they're in the air hitting a plane. This is so good. 
They're being torn apart while they're crying. And it's such a dramatic, sad moment for Edina and Akakura. But at the same time, I just, I love the absurdity of marriage talks. And it's so good. Hitting the car, hitting the plane with a car, getting back into the car, and slamming on the gas midair is just so freaking funny. And they drive off out of the exploding plane. <sighs> It seems my faith in you was not misplaced, Kazuma-kun. I knew you could do it if you tried. Good job. Wonderful expressions. I got a lot of great shots. And he's taking photos of it all. I'm very much looking forward to her execution. Akakura-san, are you okay? Akakura? I had the wrong idea. I thought I could protect Derina. But if you hadn't helped me back then, I probably wouldn't even be here. And when, I came to fa er, and when I came face to face with real specialists, I couldn't even lift a finger. Ghetto, please. You have to save Edina. Protector, who am I kidding? I'm nothing but useless. Dead weight. You'd, er, you'd fight much better without me in the way, right? I'm begging you. I'll sell my organs if I have to. I'll get you your fee no matter what. So please... And he holds his hand out. Have more faith in Zhao. That girl is still holding on to your promise to protect her. She takes his hand. You're right. Yeah. Sorry, I lost it there for a minute. So, uh, Ghetto, I know all this flip-flopping is pretty lame, but can I ask you a favor? I want you to help me save Edina. If it's just assistance, then I can give you a discount. Never stop reaching out so long as there's someone out there seeking your help. What a great chapter. This is one of the best chapters in the series. That was so fun. And also, I've been noticing, it looks like there's... I wonder if it's from the attack earlier, the scar on... Um, the scar on Akakura's midsection. If that's from the attack earlier, from the, like, weed eater guys. Or if this is, um... Or if this is something that's been there and there's some backstory to it. But either way, what a fun chapter. Marriage Toxin is just so much fun. And with that fun, it tells such a good story. But either way, let's go read chapter 58. This arc is just starting to cook, so let's go. We have Edina's been taken, but she hasn't lost her heart yet. Or hasn't lost heart yet. And neither has Chinatsu. You think, or I think I might have a knack for this, Wind User-kun. Would you like to see it? I've captured the look of despair on that protector's face. Edina Kun, you're next, and he's taking more pictures. Hey, Namagawa. Huh? Sorry to spoil the fun, right when your ambition's within grasp. <laughs> but you're gonna have to retire to your grave right there, and there's these surface to air missile trucks chasing them down. We've hot er we've hired Sensei, an esteemed missile user, and <laughs> now you can die along with your boss's brat. Huh? Who are these crummy sleazeballs now? Bastards from a different group. They must be thinking of taking over since we've lost our boss. Cosmo kun I've got an extra job for you. He's already on his way. And then we have Kazuma on a unicycle. How on earth is he going to win against missiles on a unicycle? Sensei, please do the honors. And he fires... <laughs> They fire the missiles, like literally going forward at him on this highway. Namagawa-san, you may be a small fry, but you got big luck. As long as you've got Kazumama on your side, you've got nothing to fear. Not even the top five families. And he makes a whirlwind, redirecting them. What? The missiles? Mm-hmm. You can have these back. He's so cool. You gotta be glad you hired us Kana or Kanawa siblings now, huh? Gehehe, <laughs> and he's laughing while trembling. Splendid job, Kazuma-kun. We're about to get busy. Our boss, Zhao Ginji, came to regret his sins and resolved to surrender himself. How utterly noble! And disgustingly stupid, he bites another picture. Doing that would have gotten the rest of us caught as well. It was an act of betrayal, both to me, who spent my entire life supporting him, and to everyone who relies on the organization for a living. In order to make sure that no one repeats this terrible mistake, 
we shall plunge that traitor's daughter into the depths of despair and kill her. So, you two, what do you make of this wind? Says Kazuma, talking to the other siblings. Simple. The, op er, the opposing side will, of course, attempt to save the girl, and by launching a, er, by launching a surprise attack. However, the poison user will act alone. I believe the protector will be retiring from the front line here. If she has even half a brain, I'm sure she'll realize that she'll only be getting in the way. Plus, we already got the poison user covered. You know, with the medicine that the beast user sold us, it sure cost a pretty penny, though. It'll be a complete victory for us Kanoa siblings. Yeah. Well, that's certainly the ideal. So, Edina, do you have any last words? If you throw away all shame and wretchedly beg for your life, I might just spare you some pity. And she's totally stone-faced. The way Edina has been drawn the past two chapters is, like, really good. That face. I suppose that man's blood does run in her veins. Never mind. Kill her. This guy approaches with a gun. She starts trembling. Huh, I guess she's nothing but a brat after all. Yes, yes, show me more. Let me photograph the ultimate portrait of the dead. The wind starts blowing. And then we have Chinatsu and Ghetto busting in. Chinatsu, I'm not a very good driver, but I'm pretty slick on a bike. To protect her, why is she here? And she picks up Edina. And we have, now they have heavy machinery, like an excavator as well. The petty lackey's getting all cocky, huh? We'll keep you alive and, er, use you to chain down that poison user. Edina, make sure you keep your head down. We have this massive spread. So cool. And she grabs on to the sister of the three siblings. The speed and power. It's as if she's a different person. Don't tell me. Chinatsu? Oh, she has a mark on her neck. She's using the poison. Hikaru Ghetto. That drug you used then. Can you use that on me too? What? Is it some secret you can't share? Well, that's also true, but I'm unsure if my toxin would work on anyone outside my bloodline. It's a dangerous gamble. Even if our blood turns out to be compatible, it'll place a very heavy burden on your body. I don't think an ordinary person could handle... Stop right there. I think you're underestimating my desire to save Edina. Don't worry, taking that poison will be a piece of cake. Is Akakura holding out fine? And she smiles back. Seems like your toxin and I are a perfect match. And she sends all the randoms flying. A perfect match, and Ghetto, of course, is fighting in the background, too. A perfect match from sweets to poison. Two poison users, hmm? Things just got interesting. They really do feel like a perfect pair. I'm so excited to see what comes next. I can do probably one more. I probably have time for one more. So let's read chapter 59 for now, and then I might have to call it for right now because I have a bunch of other stuff to record it's already kind of late so I'll do one more then I might have to call it for this week but you'll always have next Wednesday now time to end things off with chapter 59 oh yeah Edina powered up with poison Akakura successfully rescues Edina but what lies ahead on their path you forgot this she puts the hat back on her Chinatsu your makeup's ruined what for real hey you're happy aren't you just be honest I believed in you. I believed that you would come save me, no matter what. That's why I could keep strong, even when they threatened me. Thank you. Wait, don't cry yet. Save those tears for when we're finally out of the woods. Well, sorry to say, dear guest, but this will be your final stop. <laughs> we have a bunch of cars crashing down. He just sends a load of cars at them. The reaction faces as well. I will never let anyone take Edina from me again. He starts bleeding. Why do the side effects have to hit now? Chinatsu, are you okay? Chinatsu! And then we have Jacked in the Beanstalk. And he's using that to attack 
all the people from the cars. Sorry I'm late. I took care of the rest. Hey, you two. Want to go for a drive? And Kinosaki falls up. Ghetto, what about you? I'll hold off the remaining enemies. Then I'll help, Akakura. You should stay by Yerina's side. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you guys in no time. Toxin triple dose. Vision x Pike Fist x Hype. I, again, I love that one of his abilities is literally Hype. I think ghetto Kun is just like a certain somebody we know. He's stronger when he's protecting people. You can rely on him, so just relax, rest, and take cover. I guess these wind users aren't very strong. Dealing with that guy was a hundred times trickier than this. And he's thinking about, um, Dogo. Toshiro. I was gonna say, I was, forget I was forgetting Toshiro's name already. I was like, wow, it is, he was so important for such a big part of the story. And now it's like, I was like, why am I forgetting him already? He takes out all the ones in the minecarts. Pretty fast, aren't you, for a poison user? And then Kazuma appears and gently sets them all down. Looks like you already know what I'm going to say. Show yourself some love, you punks. But Kazumama, we can still... If you're injured, you rest. No buts. Trust me. We're family, aren't we? And I like they call Kazuma Kazumama, and he has like the apron. He's like the mom of the family. We have all the random goons crying. The wind blows. I'll show you that we can leap far above whatever poison or whatever blood this poison user has. We may not be related by blood, but with the power of wind and wheels combined, our family's the strongest. And we have them all coming in with these bladed motorcycles. We are the wind wheel users. Wind wheel? Kazuma kun, what are you on about? Wind wheel? That sounds incredibly weak. No, wait, we don't have time for this. Hurry and go after Edina. And he sends Kane, whatever his name was, or Name, Name something, sends, sends him running. Wow, I've been saying his name a million times this whole time, and I've, I'm have i blanking on it right now. Name something, sends him, Namamura something, Namagawa, sends him flying. What? Aren't they working together? You're dissing it too, huh? Don't be looking down on the wind wheel, or you're going to regret it. That old man Namagawa is obsessed with Zhao, but we have other objectives as well. In order to prove our strength against, er, in order to prove our strength as wind wheel users, we're gonna have to take you down. Oh, so I'm your priority target now. Fine by me. Now that Zhao, Kinosaki, and Akakura are out of this, there's nothing holding me back from crushing you. A strong declaration against his new challengers. And that's it for this week. I am really excited, though, because these chapters were really good. I feel like, you know, last arc was really, really climactic, but we have to build to have something big and encompassing like that again. This is very fun, though. I like the characters. I love the art. I think it's fun. The same things I always say about Marriage Toxin, but now I actually am okay ending off here because that means that next read through we will probably get this actual fight stuff, and I really like Cosma. Cosma is like quickly becoming a favorite of mine. He's just so cool. So we're going to have this fight stuff next time. Plus, this arc seems like it's maybe getting getting kind of wrapped up a little bit, which means we might even get like the end of arc stuff, maybe even you know, transitioning into the next arc. That's all really, really exciting. So either way, I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. Like if you did like the video, comment down there too. Tell me what you thought of these chapters, my first thoughts and reactions. Subscribe for more Marriage Talks and much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. If you want a link to the Discord server, it is free and open for anyone. So just ask and I can give you a link. If you uh, want to help support the channel, you can drop a super thanks down below. Or if you want to not just support, but get One Piece early, get uh, shoutouts at the end of every video, then hit join down below to become a channel member or go to patreon.com slash Haku of the Tubes or link will be in the description to become a patron. Thank you so much to people who are already patrons and members. Thank you to Chosen Regular, Evan Holly, Magical Girls, FR Nono and Abyss Knight, uh, Cheriton Students, David Langstaff and Folded Ghoul, Slayer Candidates, SG and Stan Cedar, and Pure Element Pateriel. Thank you all so, so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.